After a long week of hustle and bustle, I often feel the need for some bird therapy. You know, enjoying some time exploring the natural world around me, and the various creatures who inhabit it. Life needs many things to thrive. Water for the plants and animals. Sunshine to make the plants grow. Insects for food for the birds and other creatures. And the hunter to complete the circle of life. This amazing balance allows animal life to thrive. For the plants to grow. But will Mother Nature reveal her secrets to me? I'm in uh, western Nova Scotia, about uh, a little more than an hour from my cottage, and I'm here looking for a very special bird. I'm here looking for the bobolink. The bobolink is best known for its amazing call that some people have likened to be the voice of R2-D2. I think that's been debunked as a myth. But uh, the Audubon Society did put the bobolink in the top five birds that could have been the voice of R2-D2 because it sounds so much alike. They actually winter in uh, South America, in Bolivia, in Peru, uh, in Brazil. Uh, it's an amazing migration of 20,000 kilometers. They only spent two months here before returning their long journey home. Unfortunately, bobolinks are a species in decline. Their numbers have declined by 90% from the 1960s here in Canada. The thing I'm most excited about is trying to find an opportunity to actually record and videotape one of these birds singing. Because their numbers are threatened, they're actually not the easiest bird to find. There's only a few places in Nova Scotia where they can be reliably found. And this is one of them. This is a, a great area. It's a big marsh with adjoining hay fields. Plenty of food here. Lots of swamp birds like uh, red-winged blackbirds and swamp sparrows. Yellow warblers. Uh, there's various ducks here. So it's a, a great habitat. And the hay fields that are adjoining the marsh are a place that I've seen bobolinks before. My goal here is to record video and audio of a bobolink singing a song and being able to show that to you. So that's our quest for today. Let's go have a look. heard a Sora. Sora is a type of rail. A uh, small pudgy bird really likes to hang around in the tall marsh grasses uh, right by the water but they're very very elusive. They really don't come out. So I've heard several calling behind me here. I'm gonna hang around here for a little bit and see if I can uh, see one poking out of the reeds at some point. was amazing luck those Sora really don't like to come out and uh, came out for a little peek there was a few more around that were calling to each other so I think that encouraged it to come out so that was really really lucky for us to uh, get a peek of that Sora just landed right in front of me. 
That's awesome. They're a rare sight around here. Oh, that's awesome. He's beautiful. I can hear another Sora. Well, that was a real treat. Uh, blue winged teal are rare in these parts and uh, I had a couple of them land right in front of me. It was just great. Uh, I was actually looking for Sora at the time and they, uh, they were a pleasant distraction. Beautiful. Well, there he is right there. This is a nice treat for us. We don't get a lot of northern shovelers here in, uh, in Nova Scotia. Awesome. Well, that was lucky. The other male came and chased him off, and I got all kinds of nice photos of him taking off. Oh, lost him out of the frame for a second there. Oh, got him back. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is going to be absolutely a beautiful photo. Well, I have to say that was a real treat. That might be the best Northern Shuffler photos I've ever gotten. But uh, let's go, let's go find those bobolinks before, uh, before we run out of light. bobbling singing in a field over here so we're uh, we're gonna go check it out there's one right over here I'm gonna go set up and uh, see if he wants to stay on his branch that he's on Oh, that is amazing. I had an amazing day and so lucky that Mother Nature revealed so many secrets to me. But I'm sure there are many not yet revealed. We'll save those for the next adventure. <laughs>